Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Illinois at a Super 8 motel where some idiot decided to get all rowdy and then caused issues with the staff. And as a result, he ended up pulling the fire alarm. And then he decided to run to his car and lock himself inside of it so he wouldn't get arrested. So that's where we pick this up at. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay. What's going on, man? What? Here, step outside the vehicle so I can talk to you. Look, man, step out. We got this rubber combat. We're gonna break the other thing. Well, that was quick. I guess these officers don't want to play around with this particular dude. I mean, if he's willing to pull fire alarms and cause all sorts of ruckus in a motel, well, who knows what else this guy is capable of. But let's continue on, shall we? Because this is going to be a quick one. Cut. Yeah. You're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Open the door, I'm breaking your window. You understand? Huh, does he understand? Probably. But will he uh, comply with the order or just take it all the way? Uh, I think he'll choose the latter because in this case it's the most sensible thing he can do because he can ha at least give Safe Light some uh, business afterwards. And uh, he can uh, add revenue to the local economy by paying his fines and everything like that. So it's a win-win for everybody except for him. All right. Hey, open the door. Talk with us. Talk with us. We just want to talk to you, man. Don't make us break your window, because he'll do it. Just come outside and let me talk to you. I'm sorry, officer, but I don't think you realize who you're dealing with here, because it appears that you're dealing with somebody who... Will likes the gray bars, and he misses his friend Bubba so much. So he's just got to go back there and uh, have a little discussion with him on uh, the politics of the local jail. I mean, it's that kind of thing. He just, this is just his way to get back in. Hey, come on. Let's go. Subject is abusing the right to this vehicle. He's committed to certain conduct and has been advised to come to arrest. I'm breaking the window. Sorry, show me the way for you. Sorry, 10 minutes. Morning, where? Oh, where? You don't want to get out, huh? Yeah. I'm asking where I'm at. I'm asking where I'm at. Huh? Yeah, Mike. If he's not going anywhere, pull out and see if I can talk to him. What's your name, bud? My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. Hey. Sure, I always buy them all. What'll come? Well, we're just going to take it until it happens. Okay. So with the car after we issue some parking tickets for the car. But yeah, that's what we have to do. He, yeah. he might be 96. Uh -huh. Michelle banished double him earlier. Yeah. But either way, he just got to go. Okay. Good. He can't do what he's doing. Yeah. Regardless of his theory. You guys waiting for a sergeant or what do you Yeah. Know? Heart's coming. 
Yeah. If you could just block it, man, I don't want to try and do it. Not a guest of the hotel. He was yesterday. Pulled the alarm for some reason. Jordan, can I talk to you? He said my name's Eric. What is your name? Eric. You're, well, you're okay, well, I'm asking you, what is your name? I'm sorry? I am Sergeant Fanger with the Joliet Police Department. I just, I, I need to speak to you. So, I need to. Need, what, what's your name? I just told you, it's Sergeant Vandergrift. Oh, my name is Eric. Eric? All right, all right, Eric, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Well, this is the dude's last opportunity. Is he going to uh, get out of the vehicle and accept these tickets, or is he going to be pulled out and arrested? So what do you guys think will happen here? My guess is that he'll be pulled out and arrested and made to look like a total moron. So let's continue on. You, did you pull the fire alarm? Well, they're saying you did. Well, it's on video that you did. So this is what's going to happen. Yes. You're no. You're you're under arrest. So this is what's going to happen. You either you can step out of the vehicle, or the officer over there is going to break the window, and then I'm going to arrest you. So, what? Well, you call your lawyer then. Call him. You gonna open the door now? It's all we're gonna have to break the window. This is. I'm I'm not asking for consent. It's gonna happen. So this is gonna be the last warning. Are you gonna come out of the vehicle? All right. Do the back. Do the back window. Back window it is. Safe like repair. Safe like replace. Get out of the car right now. Yeah, 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 I know. Come on. Come on. Don't grab my neck! Come on out of the car, dude. I've got your shirt. Good boy. Right. On, on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. That's it. Good man. Okay, okay. who's got the cuffs? Mike? Right here. Well, now that was pretty damn stupid of you to just to sit in that car and wait for them to pull you out. It just made things a lot worse for you. And you're going to be charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest from what the report says. I mean, stupid is as stupid does. And let's all thank the Police Plug channel for uh, uploading this video. It was indeed very entertaining. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.